Hey friends, it is Kate here. Thank you so much for joining me for a class today. Now I have got an hour long Pilates class just for you. This one we will hit a little bit of the whole body and it is built with beginners in mind, but all levels are always welcome to join me. Now we will be on our knees for a little bit, so if you know you have sensitive knees, you might wanna grab a blanket or fold your mat in half for this beginning of the class while we are in a little tabletop position. But otherwise, we will kind of touch base everywhere and just give ourselves a lovely, gentle workout today. Remember, if you don't have time at this moment to join me for a class, just add it to your watch later list and you can join me at any time. We'll start standing with our feet about hip distance. Take a moment to arrive at the back edge of your mat, shoulders down the back, head lifts nice and high. Pull your tummy in, take a big inhale, big breath out. Dip your chin to your chest, bend your knees and begin to forward fold. This does not have to be the deepest forward fold you've ever done. Maybe we stop and pause right here. Maybe you have the ability and range of motion to go a little deeper. Do keep a soft bend in your knees, kind of even pull them in a little bit more so you can really let your chest fall towards the top of your thighs. Take a big breath, push into your heels, slide your shoulders down your back, roll yourself all the way up to standing. Stand tall, stand straight, big deep inhale. Exhale, chin to chest, bend the knees. Slowly come all the way down. Fingertips are heavy. It's like they're little weights in your hands. They're just pulling you towards the ground. Let your head just fall or kind of flop to the floor. Maybe shake it yes and no, left and right. Release any tension. And then bend the knees, roll yourself all the way up to standing. Stand tall, stand straight, pause. One last time, chin to chest. Bend, roll down. When we arrive this time, we'll hold for just a moment and take a little sway of your hips left and right, kind of waking up the body just a little bit more. Maybe grab your elbows and kind of ragdoll side to side. And then eventually pause. Fingers fall to ground, bend the knees. Roll yourself all the way up to standing. Now arrive tall at your mat. Pull the navel in, wrap the oblique muscles towards one another and lift out of the waist. Pretend like I'm holding your ears and I'm pulling them up to the sky. We don't wanna lift our chin up. Our chin and nose are looking straight forward to keep our spine in alignment. Take an inhale, lift your shoulders up. Exhale, circle them down the back. Inhale, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, circle them down the back. One more time up, exhale all the way down, and then reverse. Other way, just kind of waking up the body. Nothing too big, nothing too crazy. From here, take a pause, and we're gonna step our right foot forward in a small little lunge, just waking up the hips a little bit. Now it's easy to kind of dump our pelvis forward, kind of sticking our tummy out. Instead, I want you to begin to pull the navel to spine. Squeeze where your thigh and your glute connect, and think about lifting up and out of your waist. Are you turning your hips out? And we point them forward. It's almost like you're squeezing your inner thighs towards one another, kind of trying to scissor your legs. It's not the deepest lunge I've ever done. I'm just kind of waking up the hips here. Now hands can be on our hips, off to the side, wherever feels best, but a couple of times bend your knee and straighten your leg. And I'm just doing the front leg right now. If your back leg is completely straight and that's great too. Nothing big, nothing crazy. Just waking up the body. Now, you might step your back foot a little further back so that lunge is a little deeper. You might begin to straighten your back leg, but we can, of course, keep it bent. What's most important is, again, low belly in. Head lifts high, chest nice and open. Take both hands high, take them behind your head, and push your elbows wide, shoulders down the back. Push your head into your hands, your hands into your head. Take a big, deep inhale, and take a little twist to the right. Inhale, look forward. Again, twist to the right. Look forward. One more time, twist to the right. Look forward, pause, relax, step the feet together, shake anything out you need to, and then step your opposite foot back. For me, that's my right leg. If you did the other side, no big deal. We're always gonna do both sides. Just like we did on our first side, take a moment. Are you arching your back? 
and we pull our navel into spine. Can we think about lifting up and out of our waist? It's like someone grabbed hold of the middle of your body, tried to pick you up, but you're resisting, you're keeping your feet pressing down. Kind of squeeze your inner thighs towards one another, lightly shift your pubic bone forward. Right here, all we're gonna do is straighten and bend our front leg. A little straighten, a little bend. And again, if the back leg is straight, that's great. If you want to keep it bent, that's awesome. Maybe we step it a little further back so our lunge is deeper. Just paying attention to the body. Both hips can be quite different, so perhaps one side felt totally different. No big deal at all. Eventually, find that lunge and pause. Navel to spine. Square the hips forward, kind of pull your inner thighs together. Big inhale, hands lift. Exhale, hands behind the head, elbows nice and wide. Push your head into your hands. Your hands into your head. Push your elbows nice and far back. Find that openness across your chest. Three times, like we did on the other side. Take a twist to the left and return. Again, twist to the left and return. Last time, twist. Bring it back, pause. Let that go, step both feet together. Shake it out and we're gonna come down onto our hands and knees. Now this is where I mentioned you might want a blanket. We will be here for a little bit. A couple of things to note. Not only could we put a blanket underneath our knees to support our knees if they're feeling a little sad today. If at any point it's feeling too much on our wrist, we can drop down to our forearms instead. Now when you're in a forearm tabletop, your spine is lightly angled down. It's still trying to be straight though. So whether we're up on our wrist or down on our forearms, it's totally up to you. For those of us on our wrist, envision your palms are suction cup to the mat. And it's like you're trying to pull those little suction cup palms up and away. Not a feeling of grounding down, but instead of lifting up in a way that helps me keep that feeling of extra tension kind of out of my wrist. Now let's keep waking up our spine a little bit with just a gentle cat and cow. That can be as big and bright, as soft and shallow as whatever feels good for you. Now we can keep that a nice traditional cat and cow back and forth. You could also start to circle your head and your tail a little bit. Both directions. And then to wake up your side body, pause for a moment, belly button in, head and tail reaching away, take a big inhale. As you exhale, look over your right shoulder and kind of pull your right hip and right shoulder towards one another, fanning open your left side body. Return center. And then same thing, other side. Look over your left shoulder. It's like I'm pulling my left hip and my left shoulder together, kind of crunching to that side so I can open up the right. Go ahead and do that once or twice more if it feels nice. And then pause center, belly button up and in. From here, can you reach your left foot out behind you and tuck the toe, push your heel back to the ground, find a little stretch to the back of the calf muscle, that always feels nice to me. And this might be funny, but I want you to take your right toe, point it away from your body to the right, and lift your left hand high for a little stargazer or modified side plank, whatever makes most sense for you to call it, totally up to me, totally up to you. Reach the fingertips up and away. Maybe take your gaze down towards your hand or up to the sky. Reach your hand over your head so you get a nice big full body stretch. Take a big inhale and then return, hands and knees down. Take a little cat and cow between sides. No hurry, no rush. Pause center and then this time we'll extend our right foot out behind us. Push the heel back so we get that nice big stretch to the back of the calf muscle, I will admit. My right calf is a little tighter than my left. This feels particularly nice to me. We're gonna point our left toe to the left side. Stack our hips, stack our shoulders, find your modified side plank, your stargazer. I am reaching my hands as far apart. That right hand lifting up to the sky, it's like someone is holding my wrist and pulling it up and away. I'm pushing my right hip up a little higher and then maybe send it overhead so we get a nice big side body stretch. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, come back down to hands and knees. Find your tabletop. Now, from here, my friends, all we are gonna do is extend our right leg out behind us. Now, this is important. It does not matter to me how high your leg is lifted. We do not want to arch the back, though. So if you take your leg up so high that we start to arch our back, you need to drop it. You need to pull the navel in and open up across the chest. 
If you've taken class with me before, you'll know that I call the place where your thigh and your glute connect your thut, your thigh butt. Always gets giggles, but you know what I'm talking about. Every time we lift our foot up, I want you to squeeze your thut so hard you could hold a pencil between your glutes and your hamstrings. More often than not, if we start to experience tension through our low back, it's often because we are not using our glutes and hamstrings and we are not pulling our belly button in using our abs. So we want all of those muscles to work each time we lift our leg. Now, keep the leg as active as you possibly can anytime it's away from the floor. We're not just, you know, flopping it up there. My leg is nice and active. From here, tap your foot to the floor. Exhale, squeeze your thut, lift. Inhale, tap your foot to the floor. Exhale, lift. Not only do I squeeze the place where my thigh and my glute connect as I lift, I also cinch my waist. It's not about making my tummy smaller, it's that feeling of wrapping my abdominal muscles in towards the middle of my body, using those great big muscles to help support my low back, to keep it long and to prevent myself from having any kind of tension there. Two more down and up, last one. Now lift and hold. Pretend like your foot is sitting on a little ledge. We can't drop it down into the ledge or the table, but we could slide it across and bring it back behind us. Inhale, slide it across, bring it back behind us. Now please note, I am not taking my foot as far off to the side as I possibly could. I could really whack my leg over so it's in line with my hip, but I'm just taking it off in a diagonal angle. Use your inner thigh to pull back. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Last one, open. Exhale, close, pause. Squeeze your thigh, pull your belly button in, broaden across your chest. Take a great, big, full inhale. Set your knee down. Shake anything out you need to. Remember, you can always take a pause if anything is feeling just too much. Pull the belly button in, broaden across your chest. Send your left leg out. Now again, we're gonna hold here for a moment and set ourselves up. We have so much to think about already. Pilates is just as much of a mind workout as it is for our body. So if you have enough in your head, that's okay. If we can think about a few more things though, envision I'm holding your ears and I'm pulling your ears forward. Someone else has your ankle pulling your ankle back. So you are as long and straight as you can possibly be. Pull the belly button in, squeeze your thut so hard. Take a great big inhale, big breath out. And then inhale, we tap our foot down, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap down, exhale, lift. As you go up and down, pretend like there's peanut butter or quicksand behind you. It would not be easy to move our body through something like peanut butter or quicksand. So there's resistance down, there's resistance up. Down, exhale up. Down, exhale up. For three, and two, last one, lift, pause. Hold there for a moment, broaden across the chest, reach your head a little further away. Slide the foot across the ledge to the left, exhale, pull it back. Imagine your inner thigh really helping to guide the leg back behind you. Inhale, it moves off in that diagonal direction. Exhale, I pull it back. As we open and close as much as you can, Keep the toe, keep the foot and leg level. I'm not bouncing it up and down, or I'm trying not to at least. I am human, mine might move a little bit. I'm trying to keep it at the same plane the entire time. Last one, open. Exhale, close, pause. Squeeze your thud, pull your navel in, smile, you love it. Set your leg down, shake it out, wiggle, take a pause. And then again from here, we'll take our right foot out and away. Point your toe if you can. Grow long from the top of your head through your body out your toe. Give me five tiny circles of your lifted leg. We'll go around five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Again, lift up and away from the mat. Broaden across your chest. You got this. Pause. Last time, reverse. Five. Four, three, two, one, hold. Take a big breath, big sigh out. Set your right foot on the floor, shake it out. 
do any little movements you need to, and then extend your opposite foot out behind you. Again, friends, remember you can always drop down to our forearms. If our wrists are getting a little sad, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Take a moment here to soften through the neck. Maybe reach the top of your head forward. Maybe tuck your chin into your chest just a little bit more to make sure we're lengthening through our cervical vertebra, the very top of our neck. Turn on all the muscles in your legs. Teeny tiny circles, our favorite. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Keep your hips still, no hula dancing. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Last time, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Take a great big breath. Pull the knees in. Go ahead and push them apart and sink back in a little child's pose. Tend to your fingertips so we can rest our wrist for a moment. Get a little stretch the back side there. Your forehead can stay lifted or it can touch the mat, whatever feels good for you. Maybe you crawl the fingertips further away and really stretch the spine a little bit more. Take a big deep inhale. Great big breath out. Roll yourself up to a kneeling position. If kneeling really doesn't work for us, that's okay. You can be in a seated. We're not gonna be here too, too long though. Shoulders back, head high. Press down into your thighs, lift up and out of the waist, and then wrap the oblique muscles in. Pull the navel to spine. Reach your fingertips high overhead. Exhale, flip the palms, push them down. Inhale, reach the hands high overhead. Exhale, push them down. This time, lift them up and pause. Both hands lift. Rotate the pinkies towards one another. Lift a little bit higher out of your waist. Clasp your hands behind your head. Push the elbows wide. Are you splaying your ribs? Are you arching your back? Navel to spine. Lift up and away. Take a big breath. Little twist right. Inhale, look forward. Little twist left. Inhale, look forward. Let that go. We're gonna come back to our hands and our knees. And remember, friends, you could always drop to forearms. We could have a little blanket underneath us. You can always modify. I want you to feel good while we're in class. Not like we are struggling so much you dread being with me. I want you to be happy when you're here. So we are going to, again, extend our right foot out behind us. But this time, flex your foot and bend your knee. Now, it's not about how high my knee is lifted because look, if I lift my knee up super high, I'm arching my back and kind of dumping into my chest. Not ideal. Instead, I'm pushing away from the mat. I'm opening up across my chest, wrapping the ribs in, and my knee is a little bit lower than my hips. That's okay. No matter where you are though, no matter how high or low your knee is, almost think about pulling your inner thighs towards one another, keeping that foot nice and flexed. Take a big, full breath in. As you exhale, squeeze your thut so hard you can push your heel a little higher without arching your back. Inhale, drop. Exhale, squeeze, lift. <sighs> Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze, lift. <sighs> Inhale, lower. Three more, squeeze, lift. <sighs> drop it down. Two more, squeeze, lift. <sighs> drop it down. Last one, lift and pause. Belly button in, shoulders broad. From here, can you pulse your heel up without arching your back for eight? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Pulse again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Navel to spine, chest open. Last one. Pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Let that foot go. Shake it out. Wiggle. Do your thing. And then other side. Left foot out, lift. If it's pointed, give it a big flex. Give it a little bend. And like we did on the other side, simply start by kind of squeezing your inner thighs towards one another, reaching your head a little further away, pulling your ribs towards one another, at the same time kind of kissing the tips of the shoulder blades together behind your body. Take a big inhale. Exhale, squeeze your thigh, push your heel up. Inhale, drop. Squeeze, push the heel up. Inhale, drop. Squeeze, lift, and lower. Squeeze, lift, and lower. Each time you lift up, of course my glutes and hamstrings and the front of my quad is working, but I also want you to think about trimming the waist, wrapping the tummy muscles in, the belly button pulling towards your spine. Exhale up, 
Inhale down. Last one, little lift, pause. Can you hold it there? Now comes those fun, lovely pulses. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Keep pulling the inner thighs together. Keep the legs parallel. Pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. One more time, you got this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Set the leg down, open the knees wide, tip the hips back. And again, tent your fingertips, let your head be heavy. Belly button up and in. Big sigh out. Another big deep inhale. Big breath out. Roll yourself back up to our kneeling position or a seated position, whatever works best for our body today, friends. Hands to the thighs, roll the shoulders back. It's like you're kind of leaning up against a wall behind you and sliding up the wall to lengthen through the spine. Open up across your chest. Big inhale, hands lift. Exhale, flip the palms, push them down. Big inhale, hands lift. Exhale, push them down. This time, both hands lift and pause. Rotate the pinkies towards one another. Lift up and out of your waist a little bit more. It's like I'm squeezing my inner thighs together. Take a twist to the right, this time right hand back, left hand forward. If it feels too much to extend our arms, you could of course take the hands behind the head like we did our first time. Inhale, unravel. Exhale, twist in the opposite direction. Inhale, unravel. Exhale, flip the palms, push them down. One more thing, inner tabletop. No hurry, no rush. This one's a little bit funky. And we're really gonna focus on not letting our hips sway or kind of wag side to side. Just like we did before, stretch your right leg away from you, give your foot a flex, and bend the knee. Now honestly, if your toe is pointed or flexed, it doesn't really matter to me in this one because we're gonna focus more on our knee. Belly button in, squeeze the inner thighs towards one another. We're going to circle our right knee around, and it might be more of an oblong shape than a circle, it's okay. But start to lift the leg up and around, and then bring it down back behind you. Up and around, bring it down back behind you. Now it's easy to kind of let your hip fall over to the left, but we are concentrating on resisting, moving anywhere in our body except the right leg. Maybe it makes more sense to point the toe for you. It's okay either way. Inhale, open and around. Exhale, squeeze the foot lift. <sighs> Inhale, open and around. Exhale, squeeze the foot lift. <sighs> Two more in this direction. <sighs> Last one. Pause, take it in the opposite direction. Down and around, exhale, lift. Down and around, exhale, lift. Are you looking down at your knee that's circling? If so, I'm guessing your neck is out of alignment. I want you to kind of look at the front edge of the mat so we keep our spine so long, so straight. One more. Pause, belly button up and in. Go the first direction again for five, four, three, two, one. Reverse. Five, and four, three, and two, one, hold. Set your leg down, shake it out, wiggle. Do you notice it's probably the side that was being stable that is a little bit more fatigued. That's good. We want that side to be working hard just as much as the side that's moving. Belly button in, shoulders broad. You can drop down to your forearms, of course. Extend your left leg back. Give it a flex, maybe we flex or point the toe, your call. Pull the inner thighs towards one another so our leg is in parallel at the moment. Lift up and away from the mat, either from your palms or from the forearms on the ground. And then we'll start those circles. We open, we drop the knee down and around and we lift back up center. We open, drop it down and around, kind of graze the inner thighs as you bring it up center. My inner thighs don't actually touch, I'm just activating them towards one another. The goal, of course, isn't really about how big or small the knee circle is, but instead, it's keeping your spine still, keeping your hips even, not kind of knocking them side to side or hula dancing. Last time, hold there, and then opposite direction. Down and around, and lift. Down and around, 
and lift. No hurry, no rush, my friends. Take it at your own pace. As we go down and around, really think about lifting the back of your head up to the sky. We don't wanna drop that chin to our chest. So like I said on the first side, if you look at that front edge of the mat, where you kind of think about pressing the back of your head up, that's gonna help keep our neck in alignment. Pause. Let's go the first direction for five, four, three, two, last one, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Set both legs down. Sink back to your child's pose. Crawl your fingertips away. Tent the fingertips so we get a nice stretch across the back of our wrist. Take a big deep inhale. Great big breath out. Roll yourself up to a seat. We'll take our feet out in front of us this time. And our legs will be about hip distance apart. If there's a soft bend in your knee, that's okay. If you can fully straighten, that's great too. What's important is to feel your sitting bones connect to the ground beneath you. If you rock side to side, you should feel them kind of plop down there. If we've fallen off our sitting bones, try and sit up, maybe bend the knees, maybe prop yourself up a little bit higher if we need that space. Either way though, navel to spine, ribs pulling in, it's like someone is trying to pick you up away from the floor. Both hands lift high like we've already done today. Exhale, flip the palms, push them down. Big inhale, both hands lift high. Exhale, push them down. This time both hands lift and clasp the hands behind the head. Push the elbows back. Push your head into your hands, your hands into your head, lengthen through the back of your body. Lift a little bit higher like you're sliding up and across a wall behind your body. Take a big inhale, little twist right. Look forward, little twist left. Look forward, reach both hands high, unravel. Wrap the pinkies towards one another, lift a little higher, take a teeny tiny hinge forward. Nothing big, nothing crazy. This is not important to me that you're coming close to your legs, but instead having a long flat back. Take a big deep inhale. Exhale, maybe go a little deeper. Another big inhale. Now pretend there's a beach ball sitting on the top of your thighs. I want you to drape over the beach ball. This is not important how close our head comes to our uh, floor or our legs, but instead rounding through the back of the body, shoulders down the back. Roll yourself up. Big inhale, both hands lift. Take a twist to the right with our arms straight this time. Right hand back, left hand forward. Reach both fingertips apart. Maybe look back towards your extended right hand. If that's too much, you don't have to. Unravel both hands high. Twist in the opposite direction, right hand forward, left hand back. Slide both fingertips apart, belly button up and in. Unravel, flip the palms, push them down to the ground. Go ahead and scooch a little bit closer to the front of your mat. Plant your feet into the floor, take your hands behind your thighs. Friends, we're coming into a Pilates C curve. If this is a new term for you, Pilates C curve is like if you were Glenda the Good Witch inside your beautiful pink bubble and you sat down, your spine would touch the circumference of the bubble. We're not in a flat back right here. I'm giving you permission to rock off your sitting bones. Did you see that? I rocked off my sitting bones. My sacrum, that big bony plate at the base of my spine is kind of reaching to the back of the mat. It's reaching down by behind me. Another way to think about this is like if someone just came up to you while you're sitting here and whew, punched you in the gut, that feeling of everything contracting, everything pulling in, that's what we're going for. So find your Pilates C curve and pause. We want our knees parallel. If they're kind of winging off to the side, evenly plant down into your feet, hug your legs into your body, stomp your feet into the floor, wrap the oblique muscles in a little bit more, take a big deep inhale. Big breath out. We should be feeling this through our tummy muscles. If there's tension in your back, lift up, relax, and join in in a moment. It's okay to take a pause. From here though, can we stretch just our right hand out and away? Pretend there's a table underneath your palm. Push down into the imaginary table. Inhale, slide your hand open to a great big T. Exhale, cinch your waist, hug the arm back in. Inhale, slide it open. Exhale, pull it in, cinch the waist as you do. Inhale, open. Exhale, trim the tummy as you bring it back. 
Last one, open, exhale, pull it back, pause. Flip your palm, it's reaching further away. You are sending your sacrum back. I am turning on all the muscles in my abdomen, in my abdomen as I possibly can. Inhale, lift your hand up. Do you see it's not over my head and it's in a diagonal angle. Exhale, pull the pinky down. Inhale, reach the hand up. Exhale, cinch the waist, pull it down. Three more, inhale, lift. Exhale, belly button is fine, bring it right back down. Last one, lift. Exhale, right back down, pause. Take both hands behind the thighs. Roll yourself up to a seat. Sit tall, sit straight, wiggle it out, shake, smile, you're doing fabulous. And then again, tip down into that Pilates C curve. Rock your sacrum towards the ground. Wrap the abdominal muscles in. Pull the navel to spine. And we'll take our left hand out and away. It's like there's a little tabletop here. Push down into your tabletop to activate the arm. You can almost think about hollowing your armpit if that makes sense to you. Inhale, slide the hand open. Exhale, pull it back together. Now every time I bring my hand back in front of me, every time my thumb kind of drives my hand forward, I am wrapping my oblique muscles in a little bit more. I'm using those big deep tummy muscles to pull the hand to keep me stable. Last time open, exhale close, pause, stomp into your feet almost pull the inner thighs towards one another, activating the inner thighs, flip the palm so it's facing towards um, the midline of your body. Inhale, reach it up. Remember, it's in that diagonal angle, not straight over my head. Exhale, pull it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, pull it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, return. Last one up. Exhale, bring it back. Hand behind the thighs roll yourself up. Now friends, if that was enough to keep one hand behind your thigh to keep some support, we're gonna do the exact same thing again. If we wanna take it up a notch, we're gonna use both hands. And if it's too much, you just put one hand back underneath your thigh. Roll the shoulders back, lift up and out of your waist. Take a big inhale, tip off, reach back into your Pilates C-curve, pause, stomp into your feet, cinch your waist, navel to spine. Can we take both hands out and away? Again, if it's too much, you set it down. Inhale, slide the hands open. Exhale, bring it back together. Now, I just took my hands completely open straight off to the side of me, and I can maintain my Pilates C-curve while I do that. If you get to a point and you have to arch your back, stop. It doesn't have to be that big. You can barely open and close and get the benefit. It's much more important to me that we keep our position correct, that we protect our low back, and that we're using our abdominal muscles to hold us in the shape. Last one, take the hands together, pause, flip. It's like you're holding a big heavy present. Give it a big squeeze, stomp into your feet, cinch your waist. You could even hold on to weights right here if you wanted to make it extra hard. Inhale, hands lift. Exhale, pull it down. Remember, I'm not taking my hands directly over my head. I'm lifting them off in a diagonal angle. Exhale, pull them right back. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, pull them right back down. Good. Two more, inhale, lift. Exhale, bring it right back down. Last one, lift. Exhale, bring it right back down, pause. Take a big inhale, roll yourself up to a seat. Take an easy seat this time. Sit tall, sit straight, both hands lift high. Exhale, flip the palms, push them down, slide your head a little bit higher to the sky. Both hands lift high, hands behind the head, elbows wide, a little bit different than what we've been doing before. Roll the shoulders back, very lightly lean your head into your hands and think about puffing your sternum up to the sky. This is not a giant back bend, but just a small spinal extension. Take a big inhale. Use your abdominal muscles first, and then bring the head back into alignment. One more time, roll the shoulders, puff the heart and chest, lift. It's almost like a string is pulling my sternum up and I'm very lightly leaning my head back, big inhale. Exhale, belly button to spine, return. One more time, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart and chest, hold, let it go. Beautiful job. We'll lie down on our back. Arrive on your mat, walk your feet so they are in a line with your sitting bones. Not too wide, not too narrow, just right. And do you see my hands are not right next to my body? They're kind of far away. That's so I can keep my chest open. I can keep my neck relaxed, that's important. We do not want to feel the tension up through our neck. 
I do like to envision that my arms are just as much as a support for my body as my feet, hips, and low back. So I am pressing my palms into the ground, I'm pressing the backs of my upper arms into the ground, and I'm pressing my shoulder blades down. Now that might make you kind of arch the back a little bit. We'll imprint our spine. Remember, imprinting just means to press the small back down, to wrap the abdominal muscles in, to feel the connection of the mat beneath us. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, pick up your right leg. Now, we want to keep our leg parallel, so toes, knees, hips, everything stays in line, not rotating open. From here, all I want us to do is dip our toe down towards the edge of the mat. Exhale, pick the thigh back up. Dip the toe down towards the edge of the mat. Exhale, pick it up. As you lift and lower the leg, have you lost any of the engagement through your abs, through your back? Can you maybe push down into your left foot a little bit more so our left knee doesn't wiggle wobble? I know there's so much going on in our head here. It's okay if you forget something now and then. That's what I'm here for, friends. You don't have to remember it all. Inhale, tap the toe down. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, tap the toe down. Exhale, lift it up. Last one, tap the toe down. Exhale, lift it up, pause. From here, can you extend your leg up to the sky and then just bend the knee. Extend the leg up to the sky and bend the knee. One more time, extend it up to the sky, bend the knee, pause, flex the foot. Shoulders down, nose pointing up to the sky like your Pinocchio. Push your foot away from your body in a diagonal angle and pull it back in. Now, as we straighten and bend the knee, Notice, is your left leg kind of falling off to the side? Is it wiggle wobbling? We want to keep it nice and still. Wrap the tummy in, pull the navel to spine, keep the chest nice and open. Are you still thinking about your palms, the backs of your arms and the backs of your shoulders being stabilizers as well? Last time, push it away, pull it in, hold. Set your right foot on the floor. Pick up your left leg, hold for a moment. Relax the neck and face. Smile a little if there's some tension there. Almost squeezing our thighs towards one another. And then we tap our left toe down towards the edge of the mat. Exhale, pick it up. Really for this one, I'm thinking about the motion of my thigh. So it's like my thigh comes closer to my chest and I move it away. Exhale, pull it up. Inhale, reach away. As much as I can, I'm trying to keep my low back connected, imprinted the entire time. Inhale, tap the toe down. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, tap the toe down. Exhale, lift it up. No hurry, no rush. Remember, going slower in Pilates is usually harder, so if you want to make it easier, you can go a little faster. It is much harder to control our uh, back, though. The faster we go, it's easier to fake it. That's really what happens when we tend to go fast. This time, lift, pause. Straighten the leg up to the sky. You can flex the foot or point the toe, bend the knee. Straighten and lengthen, bend the knee. Each time I straighten and lengthen, I imagine someone pulls my ankle up to the sky and then lets it go. They pull my ankle up to the sky and I resist keeping my hip down and let it go. That's how I get that nice extra stretch, the entire leg. Last one, reach it up, bring it down, pause, give it a flex, and then push and pull. Now if your leg goes a little higher as we bend and straighten rather than away like mine is, that's okay. We're all at different places, friends. We might notice one side has less range of motion just because we're tighter, or maybe we're a little tired on this side. It's all right. We don't have to be perfectly even side to side. We are imbalanced creatures, and it's just good to pay attention to what our body needs each and every day on each and every side. Two more, push it away, pull it in. Last time, push it away, pull it in, hold. Set your right foot on the floor. Take a moment here, low back down, shoulders open, press down into your left foot to reach the right foot high. 
can you point the toe this time and reach the foot as far away as possible? If there is a bend in your knee, that's okay. What's important though is that feeling of elongating the leg, no matter if it's bent or straight. Now from here, teeny tiny circles of our lifted leg. Five, four, three, two, one, pause. Reverse, as you take the circles like we did on our hands and our knees, it's about keeping everything else still while we move the one leg. Pause, reverse, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Last time, reverse, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Give the foot a flex, reach the heel up, pull the toes to the face. We're gonna drop our foot down for four, three, two, one, lift, four, three, two, one, down, four, three, two, one, up, four, three, two, one. Last time, take it down and can you hold it right there? Now friends, if it is too hard to hold it there, you take it right back up to wherever you need to. Point the toe again, reach the foot away like someone is pulling your ankle, but you are pulling your hip back down. Teeny tiny circles right here. Five, four, three, two, one, pause. Reverse, if there's tension through your jaw. Smile, take a big sigh out, wiggle, you got this. Pause, reverse. Squeeze the inner thighs towards one another. Relax the neck, relax the face. Pause, last time, reverse, five, Four, three, two, one. Take a breath. Pull the knee in, set it down. Gently stomp into your right foot. Lift your left foot high. Point the toe, reach it up to the sky. Take a moment to find your space, to find yourself feeling nice and secure and strong, a low back touching the mat. Teeny tiny circles. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Reverse, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Again, wrap the obliques in, feel the ribs trying to connect towards one another. Pause, last time, reverse, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Give the foot a flex, reach the heel up, pull the toes to the face, and then we go down slow. Four, three, two, one, lift, four, Three, two, one, down. Remember, friends, you do not have to match the exact angle at which I'm taking my leg. If your, goes, if your leg goes a little higher or a little lower, that's always okay. Certainly not the end of the world. Notice if you're letting your shoulders kind of curl up or pull away from the mat. Can you imagine I'm pressing the shoulders down? I'm helping you to keep that lovely open chest. Beautiful, four, Three, two, one. Last time down and hold. So take it to your lowest point where you can feel in control. Point the toe, reach the foot away, maybe stomp more into your la right leg. See, rights and lefts are hard for me too, friends. It's okay. Teeny tiny circles right here. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, squeezing your thighs, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one, pause. Again, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Last time, reverse, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Take a great big breath, bend the knee, pull it in, walk the heels a little wider, knock the knees towards one another, take an easy little twist side to side, and then bring the heels back in alignment. Hands down by your sides, shoulders down the back. From here, lightly tip your pubic bone up. You should really feel your low back press down and think one vertebra at a time to roll yourself up to the top of our bridge. Hold here in our bridge, shoulders down the back, nose points to the sky. Take a big sip of air in. From the sternum first, one vertebra at a time, rolls all the way down. Again, tip the pubic bone. Lift all the way back up. Find the top of your bridge, hold. Open up across your chest. Take a big inhale. Roll all the way down to the mat. Two more just like that. Slow and steady. To 
turning on our glutes, our hamstrings as we lift, and then rolling down. Now this time, lift to the top of your bridge and pause. Hold here. Squeeze your thigh butt connection point, push your hips a little higher, cinch your waist, and from here, all we're gonna do are a few little circles of our hips to the right. Now ideally, we wanna keep our hips level and in line with one another, not kind of waving them side to side, but moving them all in one piece. So we're gonna push them over to the right, drop it down and circle it all the way back up to center. <sighs> Inhale down and around, exhale, squeeze with that center. <sighs> Inhale down and around, exhale, lift. <sighs> Inhale down and around, exhale, lift. <sighs> Three more. <sighs> and two. <sighs> Last one. Find your center pause. Shoulders down the back, nose high, big inhale. Roll it down. Lift your hips back up. Roll them down. Lift the hips right back up. Last one. Lift the hips and pause. Find your center, squeeze your thigh, pull your inner thighs towards one another. We'll take our hip circles to the left. So they go over to the left, down and around, exhale center. Now again, the idea is that we're trying to keep both little hip bones even and in line with one another. It's almost like you could hold or put a tray across your hips and nothing on the tray would fall over. That's how even we want our hips to be. Now our mind, I hope so, but you know, if they're not, it's okay. I'm human too. Nobody's perfect, friends. We are just doing our best each and every day. Each time you jump on the mat with me, we get a little bit stronger. We feel a little bit more confident in our body. Two more in this direction. Last one. Pause center. Take a big inhale. Lower all the way down to the ground. Heel toe the hips or the feet a little bit wide. Knock the knees together and take a nice little twist. Now, my lovely friends, walk the feet back towards one another. Take the hands high overhead and just find a stretch. You can actually dip the chin to the chest. You might feel like you're giving yourself a double chin, that's okay, but we can get a little extra stretch to the back of our neck and that can always feel nice. But from here, hands will come behind the head. We are going to push our heels into the ground, wrap the ribs in, feel your imprinted spine, and we're going to lift into a Pilates crunch. When we do a Pilates crunch, what's important is feeling the activation through our tummy, not through our neck, not through our shoulders. Yes, my head is lifting as I curl up, but I am not using my neck muscles to force my head and chest up. I am using the abdominal muscles. It's kind of like a punch to the gut so that wrap, that activation, and that big wrap and activation helps curl my head and chest up from here. Now, we wanna look over our kneecaps. If we look up to the sky, we kind of put our chin in the wrong spot. If we tuck our chin down, then our chest kind of curls in. So that sweet spot for most of us is probably gonna be right above our knees. Now, if we need to set our head and chest down at any time, you absolutely can. Belly button in, low back touching the ground, take a big inhale. Can you stomp into your left foot and pick up your right? Set it down. Stomp into your right, pick up your left. Set it down. We're simply gonna lift and lower each leg. And like we did when our head and chest was on the ground, it's more about the thighs movement than it is the toe. So I'm using my exhale to pull the thigh closer to my chest, my inhale to set it down. Exhale, cinch the waist, lift. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, cinch and lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, cinch and lift. Inhale, lower. Two more just like that. No hurry, no rush. Last set. Big exhale, trim the waist. Let it go. Exhale, lift. Let it go, pause. Open the elbows wider. Make space between chin and chest. Take a big inhale. Turn your tummy muscles on a little bit more. Curl up just a hand higher and then let it go. Now again, friends, remember, if it gets just too much to keep the head and chest down, lower and just do the legs. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. That is perfectly fine. But from here, again, low back down, elbows wide, tummy in, big inhale. 
curl head and chest up. Now, I want us to pick up our right leg and pause. Again, if it's too much to keep one leg lifted for this, you can set it down, or we can just do the leg. But from here, we're gonna do a little kind of little twisty guy. I want you to reach your left shoulder towards your right knee. It's not about the elbow. Who cares about where the elbow is? It's your shoulder. Take a big inhale. Push your shoulder towards your knee. Take it back down. Push your shoulder to your knee. Take it back down. Three more twists and release. Two more twists and release. Last one, twist. Release, pause, set your foot down, lower your head and chest down. Relax anything you need to, smile you're doing fabulous. Imprint your spine, wrap the ribs in, curl head and chest up. Stomp into your right foot, pick up your left. And now this time it's my right shoulder reaching towards my left knee. Who cares about my elbow? Big inhale, exhale, shoulder up, shoulder down. Exhale, shoulder up, shoulder down. Exhale, twist and release. Twist and release for three and two. Last one, bring it back, set your foot down, lower everything down, relax, wiggle, take a pause or two. And then again, all we're gonna do is curl up, find your Pilates, uh, I'm sorry, your little Pilates crunch, pull the navel in, fold from the sternum, and then pick up your right leg. Now, can we twist and hold? If it is too much to twist and hold, you set your head and chest down. And then can you straighten your right leg? Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Exhale, cinch your waist, pull it in. If it's too much, you set the head and chest down. Two more, straighten, exhale, bend. Last one, straighten. Exhale, bend, pause. Look forward, foot down, head down. You're doing fabulous, my friend. Big inhale, little Pilates crunch, belly button in, low back touching, stomp into your right leg to keep that side stable. Pick up your left leg, take your twist, hold. And again, it's my shoulder that's trying to pull up to my knee, not my elbow. And then we straighten, exhale, bend. You could flex the foot if that feels better. You could just have it soft and flappy. It's kind of not super important to me what we're doing with the foot. What I'd rather you focus on is squeezing the thud as you straighten, holding the navel to spine as you bend. Squeezing it as you straighten, tummy works to pull it back. Two more. Last one. Look forward, set your foot down. Relax everything, heel toe the feet a little wide, knock the knees together and take a gentle little twist side to side. Once again, reach your hands over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, who cares if we're doing that double chin thing, no one is watching us. And stretch, push down into your right foot and stretch longer through your left hand left side, big inhale. Exhale, let that go. Press it down into your left foot. Stretch longer through your left side. Big inhale. Let it go. Now I've got one more big thing for us today, friends, and it's okay if it's too much. It can be always a nice little good way to end our class by challenging ourselves a little bit more. I want us to once more rise to the top of our bridge. Now, squeeze, 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 squeeze your thud so hard. Wrap the tummy muscles in, and like we talked about, we want to keep the hips as level as possible. We don't want to droop one down, one over, kind of knock it to the side. And instead, push into your palms, push into the back of your arms, wrap the tummy muscle in a little bit more, take a big inhale. Without moving your hips, exhale, pick up one leg. Is that too much? Did we just droop our hip down? Can you squeeze your thut and push it up a little higher? Set your right foot on the floor. Shoulders down, nose high. Squeeze your thut, big inhale. Stomp into your right foot, pick up your left. Really think about those oblique muscles wrapping in, holding your tummy nice and um, pushing up to the sky. Take a big breath. Set it on the ground. Now, roll it down. Take a pause. Lift back up. Big breath. Stomp into your left foot. Exhale, pick up the right. How level did you keep your hips? I hope they are so level. Set it down. Exhale, pick up 
your opposite leg. Set it down. Roll the hips down. Last time, friends. Tip your pubic bone. Reach up. Squeeze your thigh butt connection point. Great big inhale. Exhale, pick up your right leg. Set it down. Pick up your left leg. Set it down. Lower all the way to the floor. Heel toe the feet wide once more. Knock of the knees together. Little sway side to side. We will pull our knees into our chest, give ourselves a hug and squeeze, and rock and roll on our back just a little bit until we come all the way up to a seat. Now, here in our nice, tall seat, take a pause and notice how we feel from the beginning of class. Is it a little easier to sit up tall and straight? Do we already feel like our spine is a little longer? I hope so. If not, well, that's okay. These things happen. Shoulders down the back, lift the head a little bit more. Take a big inhale, both hands lift high. Exhale, clasp the hands behind the head, push them nice and wide. Take a big breath. Take a twist to the right. Inhale, look forward. Twist to the left. Inhale, look forward. Now we already did this today, roll the shoulders back, lightly lean your head into your hands and think about pushing your sternum up to the sky. You can kind of think of this as a seated cobra, a seated little teeny tiny swan, but it's that small spinal extension. I am not craning my neck to look up to the sky. I'm just leaning my head into my hands and puffing my chest. Take a big inhale. Now pull the navel in, look forward. Both hands unravel and reach up to the sky. Exhale, take a big twist to the right. Inhale, unravel. Big twist to the left. Unravel. Flip the palms, push them down. Now friends, we're gonna come into a small low lunge. If that's feeling too much for our hips today, that's okay. You could grab your blanket again if you need it for your knees. But I'm just gonna take my right foot forward. Now, it's easy to kind of dump into my low back, so I wanna pull my belly button up and in. If you have kind of sensitive knees, it's helpful for me to think about pushing into the back of my foot, the top of my foot behind me, so I can kind of remove that pressure from my knees. Push down into your thigh with your right hand and try and lift up and out of the waist more. Squeeze the thigh, maybe crawl the toes a little further forward, and then rock into a little bit of a deeper lunge. You can stay back if that feels better. Reach your right hand high, wrap your pinky in, lift up and away, up to the rafters. Take a big inhale and take a small stretch over to the right. Think about fanning open your left ribs. Unravel. If we can, lift both hands high. If that's too much, you keep your right hand on your thigh. Exhale, twist to the right. Right hand back, left hand forward. Unravel, both hands lift high. Again, clasp the hands behind the head, elbows wide. Roll the shoulders back, puff the heart and chest up. Maybe we have more range of motion now. Maybe you can think about lifting the sternum up a little higher. Take a big inhale. Exhale, look forward. Go ahead, bring both knees back together. Like we've already done today, hands to the thighs, lift up another waist, belly button in. Big inhale, hands up. Exhale, flip the palms, push them down. Big inhale, hands lift, actively reach up to the sky. Exhale, push it down. Last one, both hands nice and high. Exhale, push it down. We'll step our opposite foot for me. That's my left foot. If you did the right, no big deal. So we're in our small low lunge. And again, no sticking out that tush. We're not doing a Beyonce booty here today. We are pulling our belly button and we're lifting up out of our waist. Squeeze your thut. Maybe crawl your toe a little further forward and drop into as whatever low of a lunge feels good for you. For me, I imagine pushing my pubic bone towards the front heel and continuing to pull my ears up a little higher to the sky. Push down into your left thigh with your left hand and reach your right hand high. Grow an inch or two taller through the right side and then start to stretch over towards the right. Kiss the tips of the shoulder blades together so we keep our chest nice and open. Big full inhale. Big breath out. Grow tall. Take both hands high if it's too much. You can keep your left hand on your thigh. Take your twist to the left. Slide your fingertips apart. Pull your belly button and maybe point your nose back behind you. Unravel both hands high. 
hands behind the head, elbows wide, shoulders back, puff the chest up, keep squeezing your foot, keep pushing your pubic bone forward and pulling the navel up and in. Big inhale. Exhale, slowly look forward. Drop back down to a seated pose if we can. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest up. Take a big deep breath. Big sigh out. As always, give yourself a pat on the back. Thank yourself for doing something so good and just for you. I certainly hope you enjoyed our hour-long Pilates class together today. I cannot wait to see you again. Thanks so much for joining me for class today. I certainly hope you had a fabulous time. If you'd like to see more wonderful videos, please download our Yoga Plus app. Welcome to Yoga Plus. Courses available from pupil to yogi. Sort by yoga, fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth, available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.